Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. It's 2020, happy new year. I'm so happy that you're back. Now I know that this channel is geared towards movie and television show reviews, but it's the new year and we have to talk. You and I, you and me, me and you, your mama and your cousins too. We have to talk about why every year your new year's resolutions fail. Why every year you have these goals and you don't make it. Why every year it's the same old, same old, same old song because you haven't done this one thing. That's coming up next. <laughs> it's funny. So I'm gonna get straight to it. The one thing that you have missed in planning, doing things that you know that you're destined to be or to do, the number one thing that you have not been doing is being honest with yourself. Honesty with yourself is more important then you know. It has so much weight on how your life flows and how you take care of yourself. Saving money, getting out of debt, uh, loving yourself more, losing weight, whatever the matter is, you have to be honest with yourself. And when you're not honest with yourself, now I'm in this category too, okay? Look, we know you don't have that much money. We know you're not at the job that you really don't wanna work. We, we know these things, but with social media and everything else, it paints this picture, it paints this lie, like everything is perfect. Now, for those of you who have not listened to my podcast show, I go more into depth about mental health, taking care of yourself, understanding how social media has painted this lie like everything is supposed to be perfect, painting this fantasy of a progress report, forgetting that Instagram and all of these different social media platforms were developed for entertainment purposes. It shouldn't have evolved into this progress report on how your life has been or what's going on in your life, but it has developed that way because we're all keeping eyes on each other and we're all paying attention to what the other is doing. But when it comes to self-improvement, when it comes to self-evaluation, when it comes to setting goals and achieving those goals, it doesn't happen overnight. But with social media, there's this instant gratification, there's this instant overnight success per se and what we're seeing. But what I need you to understand is that, is that there are several steps in between in achieving your goals. That weight loss journey that failed, you're human. You have bumps and bruises along the way. The error is, I'm in this category, I'm look, I'm speaking to myself as well, okay? But with things that have evolved that I have gotten done, I thought, wow, it actually worked. I made a vision board um, within my planner and I actually achieved three out of five of the goals that I wanted to achieve. Now, I do have a future video that is coming where I reveal what that is just to show proof that Nothing is a straight line. Everything is an up and a down and a catapult to the moon and then back down to the earth and disappointment, sadness. You're human, okay? So a lot of people can do these podcast shows and they can have these radio shows and they can do YouTube videos and they talk about, well, believe in yourself. And, but not too many people talk about how and the realities of things the truth of what you're going through, the 
unfiltered version of who you are. Um, and the platform of this channel is moving in television, but also in the description, because I wanted to leave that open for growth, is that I want this channel to be a kaleidoscope of several different things. And one of the things is self-evaluation and self-improvement, reaction videos, help, beauty. But I wanted to conquer one thing at a time. So learn how to perfect one thing at a time, okay? So number one is honesty. If you have a weight loss goal, for example, um, you have to be honest. You have to be honest about what got you there into that place of gaining weight, okay? I've been an athlete my whole life. And when I started evaluating what got me out of athletic mode, <laughs> <laughs> of running three to four miles a day like it was nothing. I used to wake up and run three to four miles when I was in college and just thought it was just, you know, just something to do. And I loved getting fresh air. When you sit down and you get to the source of why, why we're getting out of this matter in the first place, you have that epiphany in saying, okay, these things happened to me. It failed. I didn't take care of myself. I didn't evaluate what I was eating. I got out of routine. Taking responsibility and being honest about the matter. When you talk about debt, if you have debt, you're talking about what got you there. Are we talking about school debt? Are we talking about credit card debt? When you start to look at the honesties of how you got there, that is the first step into achieving your goals. Just say, I'm going to get out of debt and oh, I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a house or I'm going to do this. and I'm going to do that. Honesty is something that you skipped because when you don't talk about the honesty part, and you just you get your planner, your fresh planner, and you take took the plastic off of it, and you put it in your leather portfolio, and you have this plan, and you have all these goals, and you have all of these achievements. Think about what's in your control and what's not in your control, okay? Being honest, that's number one. When you do that, you have this epiphany of, okay, now let's move forward because once you have that honesty and you know that everything's not a straight line, if you have a diet plan and you slip up for a few days and you just give up, which a lot of people do, me, you fall back into routine because you are a human being. So let's talk about how, because a lot of people talk about, oh, well, believe in yourself and you can do this and this. So let's talk about how. Perfect example with this YouTube page, with my YouTube channel. I knew going in that I love doing movie, movie reviews. I love reviewing and talking, talking about television shows. And I used to just have this vision in my head and say, oh, I want a YouTube channel. And, oh, I should do this. All the while, you know, Game of Thrones was on and I was just, just going back to work or talking to friends and explaining the show. And they just, just engulfed it and they loved it. And they loved how it would break down everything and talk about everything. All of that time spent doubting myself but instead, I could have been doing the research to find out what are the first steps into getting a YouTube channel. So honesty. And then the second part is toxic thinking. Are you knocking yourself down before you get, even get there? A lot of people do that. We are human. Please keep in mind that Instagram is full, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever you can think of, nobody is posting their failures because that is not the popular thing to do. Please understand that. You didn't reach your goals last year, but you know the greatness of it all? You're here now and you've literally made it to another decade. How beautiful is that? So honesty, recognizing toxic thinking, and you can put everything all pretty into the planner of 
things that you want to do and before you know it a month has passed by two months have passed by three months and you're like well forget that plan and you just throw that over your shoulder and say hey because that is the cycle of how we don't get things done so what are you saying buddy we've got to encourage one another a lot of programs recognize the psychology of companionship. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, um, getting together around people that have the same goals that you have, right? You, you go to a lot of YouTube videos and you listen to people talk about equipment that they use, lighting that they use. You have to seek and you have to research Get out of this mode and thinking that you have to know all of the answers and you have to figure it out all by yourself because that's what we have to stop doing. I want you all to use this video in the comments section as your venting, venting platform, your planning platform. Keep coming back to this video in the comments to document your improvements. I want this video in this area to be a place where you guys can start communicating with each other in what you want to do because there are some things that you know that someone else may not know. Another thing, sometimes things that you want at that time are not the best, it's not the best thing for you. Um, for those that know me, a lot of people ask, well, Bunny, why don't you have a house? Why don't you get a house? And I have my thoughts about home ownership at this time. I can go out and get a Tesla or a BMW right now. But economically, money-wise, it just wouldn't be a good decision for me to make. Um, so one of the things that I share, so last year, um, I'm already frugal as it is. But another thing that you have to do at, for 2020 is I encourage you to use this year as a no spending challenge. Spend only when necessary. Bills, toiletries, things that you need for your home. Things that are necessities. Ooh, are you ready for that? Are you ready for not going out to eat every day and going purchasing lunch every day, but stocking in your home and taking your lunch to work every day? Changing your spending habits, regardless of your political views, eco the economy is changing in a way that, way that you need to think about investing and keeping and holding on to either your money or investing in something that will allow it to grow. That's important. When you do a no spending challenge, you take whatever you have in your ownership more, seri more, more seriously, right? You're not just throwing your shoes into the closet. You're taking extra care of them because you know for the next year, <laughs> the couple of months, you're not spending, you're not buying any more shoes. Take pride in everything that you own. People, when I see people all the time, they think I have so many clothes and I, oh my goodness, when'd you get that shirt? Oh my goodness, when'd you get that? I'm like, I've had this shirt <laughs> or these pair of pants or these shoes and I don't know how long I've had them, but I take care of them. I clean them. I am the type of person that invests in something like good leather shoes or good sneakers or things that are of good quality and taking care of them throughout the years because the long run is the payoff in saving your money. Okay, so let's recap. Being honest with yourself, stopping toxic thinking, not just planning, but doing research. A lot of millionaires and entrepreneurs, they read all of the time because they understand they don't know everything, so you have to keep learning, okay? Um, once you have that honesty, once you work on that toxic, think, toxic thinking, once you research things, now we're getting to the crust of you accomplishing your goal. Because a lot of people make vision boards, that's awesome. 
But a vision board is not planning. A vision board is not research. That is just an ultimate goal and hope visually that you're constantly working on. If you are in debt, you cannot live this lavish lifestyle fantasy that's in your head. If you have true friends that are around you, if you have true positive people that are around you, they can understand that you can't go to the movies and you can't go to Hawaii next month. I always see these posts on Instagram that say, I'm cutting people off, I'm changing this, I'm da 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 da. But the epiphany is if you naturally change and evolve, life will take care of that for you. You don't have to do anything. You literally don't have to cut anybody off. Because guess what? Toxic people, negative people, people that are not moving in the direction that you're wanting to go will naturally fade away. Those people will slowly stop calling you. Those people will slowly stop contacting with contacting you and you'll turn around oh, and they're gone. <laughs> but ahead is the truth are the two true friendships are the true people that have positive thinking. So what's next? Being around people that have the same formalities and the same ways of thinking that you do. When you do that, your ways of thinking changes. Your ways of living changes. Many people that are middle class don't realize that you need to live under your means. Now, I'm in Texas, you know, so it's go big or go home. So everybody paints this picture of, but I can look fabulous on a $5 bill, baby. I can make... <laughs> You know, I can make $30 look like $300, okay? Um, so it's all about not saying stop taking care of myself, stop spend, spending money in such a way to where you just look like you're going through the motions, honey, but taking care of yourself in such a way to where, um, perfect example, you're not wearing $30 lashes, now you're wearing 99 cent lashes from e eBay. Cut everything that is unnecessary, which brings me to my next point. If you still got them clothes when you was a size four, honey, and you a size 14, and you holding on up to two closets for the clothes, you need to be honest with yourself and say, if I don't fit these clothes by the end of the year, I'm selling them, case closed. Get rid of clutter in your mind and things that are around you. Honesty, that's that first thing that will help you with a lot of stuff in your life for 2020. Educating yourself, all right? So that research, let's recap again, all right? Honesty, realizing and changing toxic thinking, doing your research, okay? Moving in ways, friendships, family, whatever, in things that are around you that are negative, that are blocking you from moving forward. These are the actions that you have to take. You can want and dream and imagine all you want. And it's like a fire has been lit under me because I got around people, hello, that made me open my eyes to like, what have, look at what I haven't been doing. And the honesty of it all is putting things into action. When I was in college, I didn't have a television. I had a television, but I only watched it for certain days. And I only watched it, I think, on Thursdays and Sundays because that's when my favorite show came on. That's how you graduate magna cum laude. That's how you graduate summa cum laude because you don't, you don't have anything distracting you. Everything I used to hear, people used to tell me, you're always in the library. If I know that that television is going to distract me, I was in the library because I know as soon as I got home, I was going to <laughs> and look at something that was on television. Honesty, 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 honesty. Okay. Use this video as your platform. If you're on a diet, pledge what you're trying to do and the actions that you're taking to get there. If you want to comment weekly what you've been working on and what you've accomplished, write a comment, encourage one another. You guys know that 
Uh, perfect example, YouTube. There are a lot of things on YouTube right now that are very negative. Um, things that have happened with collaborations, laws that are changing and people are angry. Just so many things on YouTube that are very toxic. Now, I'm not saying I miss Disney, honey. <laughs> but what I'm saying is love is something that's lacking and something that we need to bring back in any way that we can. Am I saying I'm perfect and I don't say a curse word every now and then? No, I'm not perfect. But what I'm saying is that I wanted to start my channel and even though I only had like 300 and something subscribers, I could easily, okay? And I remember telling my best friend Shakina about this. I could easily do a gossip blog channel and have hundreds of thousands of subscribers very quickly. Um, I did radio in college, um, but here's the thing. Before I started my channel and deciding what I wanted to do, when you do things like that, you have to keep that energy. You have to keep that energy and keeping up, which brings me to my next point, understanding what you're getting into. If you are diving into an idea, get ready for what you're preparing for. If you plan on developing a blog channel about celebrity gossip, be prepared for negative comments and people talking about their artists that they like, uh, telling you how you look and girl, how can you judge something how this looks when you look like that? Be prepared for the platform or the world that you want to dive into. Okay, but that's not me. That doesn't match Bunny. I mean, who I am. I would literally have to act on being negative and, oh, did you see this celebrity? Oh, this you have to keep that energy because if you don't, you'll be boring. Drama is entertaining. Negativity is entertaining and it pays. Um, but if I started that fire, I would have to keep it aflame. But everything that glitters isn't gold, okay? So understanding what you're getting into. Now, some of you say, I have a goal and bunny, I have no idea where to look, where to turn, what to say, what to do, I don't have no money, I don't have this, I'm living with somebody else. Look, everybody has to start somewhere. And Social media will have you thinking that if you're not doing this, you're a failure. That is a lie. Do not get caught up in lies. Do not get caught up in things that are going to pull you down. I'm here to say that everybody's life, excuse me, I'm my sinuses. Everybody's life isn't perfect. Okay. Um, if you have any understanding of how the economy is doing a lot of millennials aren't either working and if they are working they aren't work making that much money and if they are making a little something they're in debt let's talk about the truth a lot of people are living with loved ones or friends that is okay a lot of you don't have vehicles a lot of you are riding the bus a lot of you are riding the train so what <laughs> Who cares? Whatever's going to get you from point A to point B, whatever's going to, to get you to school, look at the positives of everything instead of the negative. Okay, let's say you're living with your aunt or your dad or whatever the case may be. Look at the blessing of it that you, you even have somebody you can turn to and live with. You know how many people don't have that? That they can go to someone and not work for a couple of months or they don't have a job and they're living with someone, do not let anyone make you think that you're a failure. And if you're here today and there, there's a lot of things that you haven't accomplished, that's okay. Because you know what? We're in 2020 and we can evolve and we can grow together. Throughout this year, I will post videos about financial building that that ladder to financial freedom because this is something that i want to do as well i want to educate you guys on what i've learned about stock 
tax, what I've learned about should you have an IRA or not to Roth IRA. We're going to talk about these things because a lot of people don't want to admit, mm, I don't have a car, mm, I don't have, but you want to paint this picture like everything's great, right? How many people are taking a picture of <laughs> their Target watch with a Kia logo? No, nobody's doing that. You got the Bentley with the nails and the watch. You seen it? <laughs> I got. I ain't saying I'm broke. I got a little something, something. But I have to be smart about what I do with money and how I'm saving it and how I'm invested it. The world wants to pay this money. We are living in a world, that's the world we live in. Look, the world is marketing, spending, marketing, spending, okay? As I said in my podcast, think how somebody would feel if you, if you pulled out an iPhone 4 and you got to texting on it. Somebody would be like, what's that? Is that an iPhone 4? Why do you have an iPhone 4? Do you not know you can upgrade? The 11 is out, did you not know that? Oh my God, why do you have an iPhone 4? Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> because the world paints this picture, like you gotta keep up, well, you gotta keep up. But if you can't financially keep up, you just can't. I mean, that's, that's just the honesty of it. Friendships, things will evolve naturally. Just keep your eye on the goal. Keep your eyes on the things that are important with you, to you, okay? I also transition your life slowly, slowly. If I went to the gym right now and tried to run four miles nonstop, I probably could make it, but I would probably pass out and something medically would happen to me because you know what? I'm not that athlete. The honesty is I am not the track athlete that I used to be. That's the truth. Boo hoo, let's not somber on, but I'm not an athlete, have my pristine athlete figure that I used to have, right? Because as an athlete, forever an athlete, you always critique your body, always, it never goes away, right? Um, but the truth is, I can start off walking. When I progress walking, I can, when I've, when I've conquered that, I can do my light jog. When I, you get my gist, crawl before you walk, be patient, surround yourself with positive people. If you don't have anyone positive, come to this video, you text to me, you send me a DM on Instagram, we encourage one another. Love is the pebble in the river, river or the lake that makes its influence and makes its ripples, right? I remember telling my mother a couple of weeks ago that it, regardless of what happens in my life, whatever evolves in my life, the number one thing I want people to remember about me is, you know what? Bunny was such a positive person. She was so sweet. She never hurt anybody. Um. She was an open-minded, caring, endearing person. And I wanna leave that positive vibration on this earth. And if you can't love other people, if you can't encourage other people, then be quiet, right? Uh, perfect example, it was a couple years ago, this woman at my job was just really snappy and mean to everybody. And when she would come to, down the hall, it was just like everybody would just, <laughs> just, here she comes. <laughs> everybody would just ignore this woman, you know? And except for me, even though she was super duper mean and I would say, good morning, such and such. Good morning, such and such. Have a good day. And she would literally roll her eyes you know, she was very mean. She might have been racist. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I think it was a point in time where I told her, I said, well, I think it was a holiday coming up or something. And I said, well, you know, I hope you have a good holiday. Um, I just want you to know that I appreciate all of the good work you do. And I just hope you have a great holiday. Be safe. And I gave her a card. And this woman started to cry and I gave her a hug. Keep in mind that people who are mean and sad and angry, something happened. 
When I gave that lady a hug, it was like she hadn't been hugged in years. Um, the ice started to melt away. When people saw that she changed and her personality changed, everybody in the office started to do that. Everybody in the office. So my point is, if there's a goal or a dream or something that you want to do in 2020, take those baby steps and don't be afraid of baby steps because you are a human being. You can only do so much. For those of you that it's your season and you've been prosperous and you were saying, I, you know, I, I did. I did my goals. Like I accomplished my goals. Everything I said I was going to do all my, all, that is great. That is awesome. But the responsibility in that is share what you learned when, you know, especially in the African-American community, you know, the saying is when an elder passes away, so does the library, because there's a lot of things that there was in their mind that is now gone. So if you have all of this knowledge, all of this experience, all of this prosperity and you don't share it, that's a library that somebody could have used. OK, so if you cannot do one thing. If you if it's just so much going on in your life, I wish you well. I wish you peace. I wish you understanding. If anything else you need to do this year is whatever you got in your mind, whatever talents that you have, use them. Somebody needs you so bad. Somebody needs you so badly. Your talents, you know, I even had people tell me at work, oh my goodness, Bunny, I missed your goofiness. I missed you laughing. Man, when you're not here, I can sure feel it. It sure does feel different. And to me, that's more than anything. That's such a beautiful compliment to know that my presence was missed and the energy, the positive energy, they could feel it leave the room. You know what I mean? If you can't do anything else, the number one New Year's resolution that you should have besides that honesty is loving yourself. And it sounds so cheesy and it sounds so corny, but the number one thing you need to do above all is loving yourself. I am still on that journey. I think I'm about 70% <laughs> there in 100% loving myself completely because you should be at 100% with loving yourself. We all have flaws. We all have this, we all have that. But when it comes to tackling certain things that has nothing to do with anybody else, cause nobody can fix you. No marriage will fix you. Your parents can't do it is up to you to be that person that makes you happy. Don't count on a spouse to fix it for you. Don't count on a brother, a sister, a cousin, anyone. You are the controller of your self-esteem and yourself. Love yourself. And if no one else around you can understand, girl, I, I can't go there. I'm on a diet. If nobody can understand, I can't go on this trip. Girl, I don't have no money. If nobody can understand, I don't have a car. I'm taking the bus. They got to go. They in your way. You will lose friends. If you are smart, it's highly likely you got about two or three true good friends. Now, when I say good friends, I mean somebody I could give, you could get a pin code to your bank account to that you trust. I hear crickets. Um, but that's it. Honesty. Reevaluating your toxic thinking because now that I'm saying this, that planner is just paper. It's just paper. It's just paper. That planner does nothing. It's marketing. Your planner, because you can, you can, you can use notebook paper and write the months on it in the days. Okay. The planner is the visual of what you want to do. It keeps you focused. It keeps you grounded. It keeps you aware of deadlines. It keeps you aware of what's happening. I'm not saying don't get a planner. I got two planners. I have a YouTube planner and I have a personal planner and I use them. Okay. Um, but my point is it takes action. Nothing, nothing is going to get accomplished if you don't 
move. And once you realized, dang, I didn't gain 15 pounds, nobody force fed you. Oh. I, I'm in, I got this $3,000 credit card debt, but girl, wasn't you in Honolulu last month? Oh. Truth. The truth. <laughs> Make the comments your platform for you. I invite anybody to write that. I have a video coming soon about one of these goals um, that I'm tackling and I'm documenting it and it's coming. And I want you to see the evolution of something that I'm working on, okay? Um, I love you guys so much. Look forward to, and I'm so excited about all these new shows that are coming again. Uh, we're going to be rocking and rolling soon. Greenleaf, Handmaid's Tale, Wu-Tang, uh, An American Saga. There's so many shows that are coming that I'm excited about. I'm going to be busy again. Do what you can. Baby steps. It's okay. Honesty, because you're the one that's going to get it done. Okay, and there'll be more video, more more videos. There'll be more videos. <laughs> There's gonna be more videos talking about these things. Limit your spending. Save, save, save. Do that no spending challenge and look at the money you save. Okay, you'll just be surprised if you're not using stuff. Sell it. Get rid of it. If friends people are in your way get rid of them they got to go all right so who remembers the truth be honest with yourself stopping toxic thinking research evaluating who's around you right surrounding yourself with people who have the same goals the same positive ways the same movements the ways of thinking and understanding that it takes work that's why your resolutions fail that's why we don't get where we want to go because we fumble and we mess up and we say ah. now i gotta scratch through what i said i was gonna do on this plan i said i was gonna have this done by the 14th and now it's the 31st dang it scratch it out ah. <laughs> we've all been there Okay, congratulations to all these people making millions of dollars and we looking at Diddy and Beyonce and everybody party. Okay, y'all millionaires, congratulations. Meanwhile, I gotta go to work tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I love y'all, all right? Look forward to more videos coming up. I will have more personal videos. Um, Self-care, health, beauty, nails, it's all coming. Movies, television. Movies and television is the platform of this channel, okay? We're going to talk about it. I love you all. Happy New Year. It's 2020, and I wish you all the best. Got to do that work. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>